Hello everyone. Thank you for joining. This is Jamal Arif. I'm part of the Orca Cloud Infrastructure team. So in this video, we are going to talk about the geolocation policy and uh, and a couple of other policies as well, just to give you a quick knowledge of how do you set up other policies and do a demo of the geolocation policy. Our quick safe harbor statement. All right. So moving forward, let's go ahead and take a look at the other traffic management steering policies. Uh, so we have load balancer if we select load balancer there are a couple of changes that we have uh, in the way that you set up a policy so you define uh, a policy ttl uh, in the same manner you can have more than one answer uh, counts uh, and you can uh, add additional answers against each answer basically uh, and against each uh, record that you create uh, you can assign a weight to it and based upon the weight uh, you'll like the the answers uh, value increases the higher the value uh, the more likely it is to be served using the load balancer policy so for instance if you want to do uh, 90 and 10 percent in that case the first answer is going to be hit just 10 percent of the time and the next is going to be the hit 90 percent of the time uh, just like the failover policy you can also also associate uh, a, a health check and attach it with the policy uh, so right now it's giving me an option of either selecting a health check which is already created in the previous policy or I can also go ahead and create a new one or I can just not associate a health check uh, and regard, regard like whether they are healthy or not uh, the only policy like the only policy that the DNS traffic management would take into effect would be the load balancing and it would, it would not uh, matter that whether that uh, health that whether the backend is uh, health or healthy or not and then similarly you can attach a domain as well if we go to uh, additional like uh, geolocation steering and the geolocation steering uh, example the differences are that you create multiple pools uh, and then within each pool uh, you can associate uh, a particular location with it uh, so for instance i can associate different either continents or based upon different countries and regions uh, and then associate that to an individual prior pool priority uh, i can if i can also do a global catch-all catch-all so for instance uh, users in japan should go to my uh, end uh, point which is in 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 in, uh, in uh, jpac area our users which are in European region should go to my endpoint which is in European re area and users from North America should go to the endpoint which is in North America but all the other regions for instance somebody connects from Australia I had I can have a add global catch-all which means that all of my other regions which I want to which I don't have a specific priority for I can always send them to my like default backup back endpoint which can be either in any of the answer pools that i have created if i don't define a global catch-all then it would just uh, randomly select uh, an answer from the available answers that you have similarly like the other uh, policies you can also attach uh, a health check over here uh, so it also gives you an option of either associating as uh, available health check or creating a new one uh, and then you can attach the domain which is also optional the other two policies are very similar as well so if in case if you select the asn steering policy the asn steering example gives you uh, uh, the differences would be that in this case when you are defining the rules you define an asn number uh, for uh, for your organization or for a particular organization uh, or a telco that you want the traffic to be routed to uh, and similarly you can also add a global catch-all in case of ip prefix steering uh, in when you are setting the rules you have to define uh, individual ip subnets so you can add like something like this and then create a subnet which create a rule based upon the subnet address that you want to route the traffic to uh, again, you can also add uh, an additional add global catch-all over here as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a quick uh, like demo of a geolocation steering. So I'll just go ahead and uh, do cre quickly create one of the geolocation policy. I'll give it the 30 second TDL. Uh, in the answer pool, I'll create again the same web server one. This uh, I'll create another A name and forward the traffic to uh, my web server which is this is the two web server and I have another this is my first web server oh. uh, 
and then uh, web, uh, my server pool too. And then attach the public IP address of my so, uh, DNS demo too. Uh, over here in the geolocation, I'm uh, I'll provide the uh, cont like areas from where I want to connect to. So let's say I have a North American region, and I, in the North America, I want to connect to pool one, and as a secondary, I want to connect to pool two. However, uh, from Europe, I want to connect to my second pool web server, and as a backup, would be my web server one. I also want to add a global catch-all. And for global catch-all, I always want them to go to the my web server one, and then as a backup, go to my web server two. I, I can attach a health check policy. Uh, so I have a health check policy, which I created in the last uh, failover policy. I can just use the same health check over here, and then add a domain name saying geo example, and select the same uh, zone that I have. Click on create policy. Uh, so I just selected the policy over here. Once it gets created, uh, you can take a look at the uh, policy, the geolocation policy that is created. So you have a details page which lists uh, similar information, provides you the health check uh, which is attached with this and the DTL associated with the current policy. It also gives you a policy narrative. Uh, so in the policy narrative, you can see that your North American uh, servers would, like clients would go to the web server one. Your Europe clients would first go to web server two and then for a catch-all they will always be forwarded to web server one in the health check you can take a look at the health check of the two web servers that you have and currently both of them are healthy so let's navigate to uh, the zone that we have attached so in this case we have attached a geoexample.ocadamazon.net so i'll just go ahead and write geo example dash so you can see that it navigates now to a web server one uh, in the in in my backends because currently I'm based out of North America uh, and it's always uh, forwarding my traffic based upon the geolocation steering that I'm doing uh, to the web server one. I also have uh, a, a, like a basic Linux box running in uh, Frankfurt region. So currently I have this Linux box which is in EU Frankfurt one. So I'll just try to log in into this Linux box and try to see if. So I'm logged into the uh, Linux box in Frankfurt and I will use uh, a browser inside my uh, terminal and try to get to the endpoint, the same endpoint. So geoexample.oci-demozone.net. This time it should resolve to web server 2 because my policy states that anybody uh, in geolocation as Europe should connect to the backend server as web server 2. Uh, as primary and then web server one as secondary all from this video thank you for joining